who doesn't love an update? Hello friends, welcome back to Willie's Wheels. I hope you're all doing well. Um, quick one before we start, this isn't one of those videos that has like bad news in it. I'm not quitting YouTube, um, nothing like that. It's not clickbaity. What I thought I'd do is have a sit down and just fill you in on what life has been like recently. Over the last couple of months, why I haven't posted on YouTube, where I've been, what I've been doing, what life is like beyond filming bike videos on YouTube. Um, and yeah, just give you a little insight into what's been happening and what's to come. Little bike update, little van update, the whole shebang. So I've got quite a lot to fill you in on, so stick around and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I just want to say a massive thank you for those of you who are watching and commenting on the videos, who are engaging with the content I'm putting out. I don't really have any like lofty ambitions for numbers or anything like that. I just see this as a space where I can share what I'm passionate about, which is motorcycles and adventures, basically anything with an engine and wheels pretty much, um, hence the name. There's uh, nothing more satisfying than getting to know people and hearing stories and experiences. And often I find on on, uh, on videos and the comments, particularly in reviews or like new bikes, people will share, oh, I had a, a T120 from 75 and this was my experience and I miss it or I love it or I'm too old, I got rid of this bike and I'm getting this now. And, and hearing people's like personal experiences, I love, I, it's just the best thing about this platform, getting to know new people um, and getting out there and just enjoying life. So yeah, thanks for engaging, thanks for being encouraging. Um, and yeah, to those of you who have sent me messages, uh, I've replied to everyone and uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it. It's awesome. I'm just here to share my passions, share the adventures that we get to go on and, uh, and meet like-minded people and um, yeah, share a bit of joy in a somewhat joyless society. <laughs> I won't go into that, but yeah, it's just good to have some positive vibes and, and meet people who, who enjoy riding bikes as much as I do. Um, so here's a little update on what I've been up to and what is to come on the channel. So you might not know, uh, me and my wife, Selly, we shoot weddings primarily. That's our main business, um, as well as uh, I do a lot of freelance commercial uh, video and photography work uh, in and around the UK. Summer is our busiest season. May was absolutely chock-a-block with weddings, which is amazing. We love doing it. And um, we've also got an almost two-year-old. So. Uh, amongst that, and fitting in freelance commercial stuff, uh, shot a few ad campaigns for different brands and, th and things, it's been pretty hectic. So unfortunately, YouTube uploads and edits have um, had to take a little rest. So since the last video, I think I've got about 12 or 13 videos shot. Reviews, I reviewed a bobber, I reviewed the Royal Enfield Interceptor, I reviewed the Royal Enfield Scram 411, I have bought a van <laughs> and done some mods on that, which I filmed, and I've got this huge stack of, of editing to get done. It's sat on hard drives in my office, just waiting to be done. Uh, and yeah, sorry, I've, I've kind of been slacking a little bit on the uploads, but I haven't gone anywhere. I have bought a new bike, I sold the Scrambler, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what it is. Uh, the timelines are a little bit disjointed between the two because I post more frequently on Instagram. But I will be uploading the Interceptor review and then collecting my first bike is the next video. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I'm going to say within the next week, I'm going to have those videos uploaded and um, you'll be able to see which bike I've gone for, why I've gone for it. I'm sure it won't be a surprise. I won't give it away here, but just go over to Instagram, give me a follow, you'll see the bike. Yeah, as I said, I bought a van. So my wife, Selly, she started driving at the start of the year. And between us, when I'm off out shooting, often commercial shoot days are like 10 hours on site, up to 10 hours on site, maybe not, if not more. And often I'm traveling. So in the last week I've been up to Warwick. I've been into London twice. I've been down to Cornwall on a family trip. So we're out and about all the time. We needed a second car and it made so much sense for me to pull the trigger on a van. So I have gone and bought a VWT5 panel van, which I love. I've always loved the vibe. I've always loved that era of, of van and the right one came up. One owner, the same garage that sold it new in 2009, sold it to me. Um, so I know it's been well looked after 
And uh, yeah, I've done a few bits on there. I haven't filmed everything for the YouTube channel, um, but hopefully that will be not only a really practical production vehicle, and also a way of carrying around my dirt bike to like, uh, I've got a few off-road days booked in. So I'll take you along for that. So the van's gonna be really useful for that, but also an adventure wagon. We put the roof tent on the roof. We've got a big awning from Stitches and Steel. Um, we're gonna take uh, Mav away, um, go away as a three, which is gonna be epic. Uh, if you're interested in VW vans, T5s, camper conversions, maybe might be on the cards, um, hit subscribe. I'll be uploading in the near future some videos around the van. What else have we been up to? Since, since I last uploaded, we've done the DGR which this year was in Margate. We went to the Margate one. I took two friends who've never, uh, they don't ride, <laughs> but they're really interested and uh, they're a great vibe. Ethan and Sam I work with them all the time on commercial work and they've helped shoot a lot of content for this YouTube channel. So I thought, oh, let's go down to Margate for the day. Went down in the van, had an amazing time, did the DGR ride together, took Ethan on the back and, and then we did the Malay beach race, which was dope, super fun. Here's some shots. I took a couple of film cameras with me that I shoot weddings and commercial stuff with and thought, you know what, I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm not gonna make a big video. I'm just gonna shoot some film. And I'm really happy with how they came out. So that was an epic time. The beach race is, is such a good event. It's just a great vibe, really chill. And you get to see some epic bike builds, some really hilarious builds as well. Um, people who just like being complete rascals, putting knobbly tires on a super bike frame and putting big apes on it. Like it's. You just see some crazy stuff and also some really wicked vintage two strokes and uh, single cylinder bikes that I'd never even heard of. A lot of BSAs in there, it's, it's wicked. So the Malay guys know how to put on a show and I will this year be going to the Malay Mile and going camping, going with my mate Josh, who is a legend and we're gonna have lots of fun. We'll take the dirt bike. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. I'm sure I've heard amazing things from that and uh, I will, shoot a video as well. So I'll take you guys along just after the event. I'll post it up. I don't know what it's going to look like. It's probably going to be vloggy vibes. Um, nothing too crazy. I'd kind of just want to be present and enjoy it as well as making content, um, which I've got pretty good at now because I shoot a lot of weddings. So I'm used to being like fully present in the room, but also capturing things. Um, but I don't want to, I just want to enjoy it. It's my first time going. So um, I think we'll do kind of a very chill vlog vibe. I also got invited to the p Co Spring Summer 24 launch party, which was super fun. Um, I went as a plus one with Josh, went up to town and went bowling at Bloomsbury Lanes and it was so sick, such a good vibe, great music, uh, love a good bowl and caught up with some really good mates. Uh, here's a few images and a couple of video clips from that evening. I was shooting stuff for Josh, so hopefully he'll post up something soon. Uh, but that was a great vibe. Actually, I'm wearing it right now. I love P and Co. I think the brand's great. The quality of clothing's awesome. So yeah, super happy to go and hang out and meet some people there. It was cool. I've also been really dangerously close to picking up a Sportster. I had a Sportster before. I loved it. Um, and I don't know why, but I've got it in my head. I really want to build a hardtail chopper. Just go full like Cali Frisco style with it. And um, there's been a few on Facebook which have popped up and they're like super cheap. And I've been considering it and I'm like, ooh, I don't know whether to do it or not. Um, and uh, looking into like kits and rewiring the bike and all this stuff. And basically in my head doing the whole job, um, trying to understand the whole process and seeing if I can do it um, before actually going for it. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do it or not. So watch this space. Let me know actually if you've done it before or if you know anyone in the London, Surrey area 
who can give me some tips, let me know, because uh, I kind of need someone to tell me not to do it, because it's like dangerously tempting. I'm sure you know the feels. Sitting on Facebook, seeing some bargains going, hmm, for a couple of grand, I could make something cool. So that's occupying my mind at the moment. Now, while the sun's still out, I'm gonna go and put on some bits on the new bike. I'll give you a clue. It's chrome and it's wide. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. So watch this space for that video. It'll probably come out in a couple of weeks. So with all that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this ramble. It's just a bit of an insight into life. Uh, yeah, nothing glamorous or anything like that. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you can get to know me a bit more than you know just, just YouTube reviews or build videos and things like that. So if you're at the Malay Mile this year, it's coming up in a few weeks. I will see you there. I'm camping in a silver T5 with a roof tent and a guy called Josh. <laughs> uh, come and say hi. I've got some beers so uh, we can share a beer and yeah, catch up. It'd be cool. Um, if not, I'll see you on the next video. I've got, as you know, a lot in the tank. So I just need to get them done, get off my butt and get them edited. And uh, yeah, look forward to sharing some more fun and adventures with you guys in the near future. In the meantime, I hope you stay safe. I hope you enjoy your life. Find some joy, go out for a ride. Enjoy the sunshine if you're in the UK, because yeah, it's rare, isn't it? <laughs> um, cool. Bye. <laughs>